How's it going guys and welcome to the mini toy love channel and today I have another Pokemon TCG video I'm gonna be opening the 2017 world championship decks I have the remaining two check out my previous video for the other two so I have the water type deck of the ice path FTW for the win and it features Alolan Ninetales GX very cool it is Zachary's deck and then I have Suzuki's deck which is a leaf and psychic and this is the Galissador deck which that looks really cool. I know Galissapod was in one of the other uh, Leaf decks, the Decidueye uh, Championship deck. So cool stuff. You get a pin, you get the little theme deck box, and a championship brochure. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, I wanted to open this little card pack. Target had a promotion of you get like a little set of three cards if you purchase $25 more of Pokemon products, which I did. So um, it's cool. It's for the Pokemon movie, I Choose You. It has Ho-Oh back there. And I think there's three special cards inside. So let's see. Okay, so the I Choose You movie, little information there, very cute. Ooh, PokemonCenter.com, little advertisement. So we have Ash's Pikachu, and I think, are they all Ash's Pikachu? I, I believe so, they're just in different poses. So we have him with the hat, him with another hat. <laughs> He's very cute. Oh, and this one, he looks super happy running. So that's cool. And it says the Pokemon movie on it. So that's just a really cute little free collectible. I like that. First up, we'll open the Galissador deck. Very cool, I love the packaging and artwork. It represents the whole theme that they had going on. I had the pleasure of attending the Anaheim 2017 World Championships. It was amazing, and to see the winners um, have, well, the finalists have these decks. So this is a master finalist from Japan. Very cool, and that's the deck. So let's get this guy open. And it has a really cool pamphlet inside, which gives you information on the winners and just pictures from the event too, which is really cool. So first up is the adorable pin. They made a plushie of him, which I also have, super cute. I had a little shopping vlog if you wanna check out that video. And then you get the cool little deck box, purple, purple theme for, for Psychic going on. And then the awesome brochure, which again features a lot of cool scenes as well as info on all the finalists. The cool Pikachu trophies, that's amazing. <laughs> Okay, so here is our theme deck person. There's a picture, I don't know if I'm mispronouncing this, I apologize, but Nato Suzuki, second place, Masters Division. Uh, Diego had first place, which he has the uh, Gardevoir deck. And he's from Japan. An interesting fact, Nato predicts that the new Ultra Beast cards will change things at next year's Worlds. It'll be more difficult to plan around prize cards. That's interesting. So far in Crimson Invasion, I'm not sure if the Ultra Beasts are, are hitting it off, but there's, there's good expectations. So here's some more information about him, and then as well as the cards in his deck. So really neat little souvenir brochure. That is awesome. Okay, so let's go through the Glissador deck. So one thing I'll point out, they all have this backing to represent the 2017 World Championships. Very cool. There's Mimikyu right there. He's so cute. And then um, the GXs are foil cards. There's no foil. It's just a matte finish. Um, and then you also have the winner signature there, which I thought was super cool. It took me a while to figure that out, but that's uh, not to a signature. Very neat. All the cards have that. So that is awesome. I mean, that's another added bonus for, for making the, the finalists. So cool. Okay, so here is the Glissopod GX. We got some leaf energy. You can see a signature real good there. That is awesome. Um, double colorless energy, which all the decks have had that, which is a reminder for me. I need to get some double colorless in my decks. <laughs> the VS Seeker, that seems to be um, across the ones I've opened. Ooh, rainbow energy. Very cool. You have four of those. Nice. Heavy Ball. Oh, that's interesting. I've never played with Heavy Ball. Search your deck for a Pokemon with a retreat cost of three or more. Reveal it and put it into your hands. Shuffle your deck afterward. So that must be a very important strategy is to make sure you have Pokemon in your deck with a three retreat cost. Ah, that card flew. My bad. <laughs> then we have Wimpot. 
I like his ability is to wimp out. <laughs> we got four of those. Oh, and then there's Garbodor. So he has the awesome attack of Trashalanche. This attack does 20 damage for each item card in your opponent's discard pile. And then Acid Spray. And he just looks insane. He's cool, though. That's a neat card. Oh, and then we have a Stage 1 a Garbodor. So... Oh, you know, they're, they're both stage one. That's interesting. It's just different artwork with different abilities. So different um, sets that they came from. I didn't know that. I don't I don't have this card. Garbotoxin. If this Pokemon has a Pokemon tool card attached to it, each Pokemon in play in each player's hand and in each player's discard pile has no abilities. And then a festive bomb for 60 in confusion. Cool. We have Trubbish. Cute. He's the basic to evolve your Garbodor there. Ooh, Tapu Lele. So, so far in the three decks I open, they all have Tapu Lele GX. She's awesome. Super cool artwork, um, which is also why she's such an expensive card still. I would love to find the uh, original Tapu Lele GX. She's cool. I don't know why I'm showing it as if it's foil. It's not. <laughs> and then we have Tapu Coco with the flying flip. Very cool. I love Tapu Coco. Acerola. Um, choice band that seems to make an appearance as well as field blower blower sorry <laughs> can't talk float stone the pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost oh that's handy i like the attached cards that's pretty cool you get four float stones bridget okay kind of straighten out the pile there then we have bridget teammates guzma guzma again he's been in all the decks as well hex maniac and he's cool three of him professor sycamore he's been in all of them as well discard your hand and draw seven cards because that's awesome these cards are hard to grab i'm having troubles and then we have the rescue stretcher which that's a good one ultra ball is a good one too yep and you get four ultra balls so super cool i'm really excited to to play with this deck as well and then we have the Alola Ninetales Ice Path FTW by Zachary. Very cool. She is gorgeous. And let's open it up. So this one will complete the color of the blue little deck box. You do get the same pin. Um, I forgot to mention that these all come with a code card to unlock the deck box online. Um, I'm definitely going to try to use that. So here is the little box. Okay, so in our booklet, here is the profile of our world champion. This is Zachary um, from the United States, and he won the senior division. So there are um, three divisions you can win. There is the junior which I think has the, you know, the age group thing, the senior, and then the masters. So the um, world champion decks, you get two from the masters, one from the senior, and one from the junior, which I think is a really cool um, way to split that up. And here's a look at some information. His interesting fact is this year is the second time Zachary's deck will be printed as a world championship deck. He had also is featured in the 2012 as a junior division semifinalist. <gasps> he has two decks from 2012. I'm going to have to look that up. That is so cool. That is awesome. One day we'll perhaps see him as a master. Super cool. Okay. And then my box actually came with two code cards. So you can have one. First come, first serve. There you go. That is cool. I've never had like two code cards. So one for you and one for me. Awesome. Okay. So here is our deck. Um, again, they have the same backing. No foil or anything. We have the Majestic Alola Ninetales. She has Ice Blade, Blizzard Edge, and Ice Path GX. Move all damage counters from this Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. That's sweet. Tapu Koko, yes. So he has appeared, I think, in all decks. That is awesome. I love Tapu Koko with his flying flip. We have Sudowoodoo. Giratina. She has a high HP of 130. That is pretty awesome for a basic my goodness shadow claw for 110 the cute alolan volpix got a couple of those four of those total octillery okay so he was in another deck before abysmal hand and hug i love that <laughs> 
Remoraid, he also appeared in another deck. That's cool for being the basic. Wild River and Water Gun. And of course, all four decks had the Tapu Lele GX because she's amazing. Oh, and then here's his signature there too. So, ZB. <laughs> cool. Choice Band. Oopsie. Oh my goodness, that happened again. These are like really slick cards. They feel different than um, the regular booster pack cards. So Field Blower, Floatstone, Guzma making another appearance, and as well. So cool. I like the artwork on that card. Ooh, Karen. Okay, so she's new. So each player shuffles all Pokemon in his or her discard pile into his or her deck. Okay. Ah, oh, look at it. Little Umbreon back there. Chilling with Karen. That's a cute card. So this is obviously from like the EX uh, decks at some point. I would I would really like that card. That's cool. Pokemon Center Lady, Bridget, Professor Kukui. I like that card. They have a nice range of uh, trainers. Professor Sycamore, always cool. That full art card. I'm desperately on the hunt for that one. Alola Ninetales GX. So I think there's three of those. Rough Seas, which definitely helps the, the water and lightning type. Ultra Ball, that's a good card. Got four of those. BS Seeker again, pretty consistent. Oh, here we go, Aqua Patch. Attach a water energy from your discard pile to one of your bench, that's cool. That's a good one, you probably get four, yep. And of course, double colorless. And then I think the rest would be our water energies and you can see a signature good. So, awesome, that's a really cool deck. I really like uh, Alola Ninetales. So there you have it. Do let me know which of these two World Championship decks you're more inclined to play, um, or like the most for that matter. I'm excited to play both for fun. They look cool, and congrats to the winners. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of my daily videos, and also check out my Pokemon playlist for more awesome TCG products. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!